Hello friends and neighbors, welcome to Gentry Vintage. I am Josh, your host. Feels like it's been forever since I made a video, but I'm back. As most of you know, I got married this past Saturday and uh, that was a lot of the reason for the hiatus from making videos. I haven't even watched videos in at least, at least a week. Um, Mrs. Piper, Mrs. Vintage, Mrs. Gentry, <laughs> she actually asked me today, she said, you ain't said nothing about YouTube lately. I said, I ain't had a time to be on YouTube. I ain't watched videos, I ain't made no videos. But I am about to change that, starting with this. Um, I feel bad. I, Joshua, jo, <laughs> I can't even talk. Joshua Stewart, pipe up north, won my giveaway, my 500 subscriber giveaway, and uh, it took me forever to get his package sent out to him. And he's got his package already. Uh, he did let me know he got his package, but uh, I got so busy I totally forgot to send him his uh, $50 gift card. So. <laughs> I did get that yesterday, Josh, if you haven't, uh, they haven't sent me a uh, uh, tracking number for it yet, but it is, it has been purchased and should be on the way. But I uh, just wanna let you know if you see this uh, before you get it. It is definitely on the way and I am so sorry. Um, things just, especially a few days, a couple few days before the wedding, things just crazy. Tonight I am smoking. I mentioned in a post I put up a week or so ago that I uh, took a couple blends and mixed them together. And uh, this is C&D's Green River Vanilla and Boswell's Pennsylvania Dutch Treat. Very pleasant. Yeah, I like this. Um, if, you, if you've ever had either, uh, both, if you've had both of these, you can probably imagine what they taste like together. And uh, if you've had them both, it tastes exactly like what you would think it would. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I plan on tonight trying to catch up on a few videos. The wedding went well. Um, it was about as perfect as you could expect it to be. Um, you know, nothing's perfect, perfect. It, not everything's gonna go exactly as planned, but uh, it was about as close to it as it could get. Um, I had a lot of friends and family that came in from out of town, different states, and. Uh, it was really nice to see everybody, and uh, it meant a lot that the, you know, those people took their time, effort, and money to come all the way to just just a, a thirty-minute ceremony, and uh, if that, and, and a couple hours of reception that we may or may not get a chance to even talk to you. Um, that was the worst part about the wedding is there were so many people you wanted to talk to, and uh, it, it was just absolutely impossible to talk to everybody in that room. And uh, you know, you might see somebody cross the room. And you're, you just think for like an hour. You're trying to make your way that direction, and there was still between 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock that afternoon. Uh, by the time people left, there were still people that I didn't get a chance to even speak to, or even knew some of them. I didn't know they were there. And uh, so, I mean, you kind of feel bad that you can't get a chance to at least say hello and thanks for coming. But uh, it is what it is, <laughs> I guess. But uh, it was nice. Unfortunately, my dad, with his health, um, not long after the ceremony, he took ill and uh, had to lay down for a while, and they ended up leaving early. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of people didn't get to meet my dad that wanted to meet my dad. And uh, other people that hadn't seen my dad in a long time that wanted to see him, they didn't get a chance to. But um, I'm still glad he was there. He, he did just fine through the ceremony, but uh, 
unfortunately had to leave early, but he was there and that's all that matters. Old Blue back here, yeah, Old Blue back here uh, made it to the service. Um, as you may see from the uh, thumbnail photo, that's from the wedding in front of the church. And uh, she hadn't been on the interstate in about, probably since two, early 2021 maybe. And uh, about 40 mile round trip, did flawlessly. Could not have asked for a better trip for a 54 year old car that hadn't been driven hardly in the past uh, at least three years. Sorry, I got a sneeze working. But I was glad to, glad we could have Old Blue there with us. And uh, I know my buddy Danny that, that used to own Old Blue, he passed away. And uh, I know he would, uh, I know he's probably up there looking down, smiling, knowing that, knowing that the car was there. So he couldn't be there, but there was still a part of him there. One of the biggest highlights of that was uh, a friend from work had come and brought her granddaughter and uh, her granddaughter wanted to come outside and sit in the car and of course I turned the light on on the top for her and uh, ran a siren for her and that, that just made her day. Speaking of old oh blue, <laughs> went finally the other day, you know, I've been, been doing some work on it off and on since I got the car. Like I said, it's been off the road for a couple years. And uh, finally went to get it inspected to tag it and everything, because it's a, in Kentucky, if it's an out-of-state car, it has to be inspected by a sheriff's deputy before it can be tagged and titled and all that. So I uh, finally went to do that the other day and uh, got this sheriff's deputy that looked like he's about 15. And uh, he didn't think that the data plate under the hood with the VIN number on it was original and uh, I assured him that everything on this car is original except for the paint and uh, it's the original color but it was repainted back in 92 and uh, I said everything else on this car is original nothing's been taken off nothing's been changed and he said well it just it looks too good to be original and it, it looks a little crooked and uh, all that crap so he said if I can just find another VIN number you know you're good to go and uh, I know there's other VIN numbers on this car. There's, you know, a couple stamped in the frame in different locations, but, you know, it's 54 years old and it's crusty and greasy, nasty, you know, probably got to scrape and sand just to get to it. But uh, we searched up and down. There was even another guy in line that got out and was helping to look for a VIN number. And I called a buddy of mine who uh, knows these cars really well also, and I said, man, I said, tell me where another easy to find VIN number would be on this car. He said, it should be in the bottom corner of the windshield. He said, I'm pretty sure 70 was the first year for that. I said, well, we've looked there and there's not. He said, well, I could have sworn in by 70 they had to, had to been in the bottom of the windshield on the corner of the dash, you know, like most newer, I don't, do brand new, I don't remember if brand new cars do or not. I, I kind of have to look at one. But uh, most cars, newer, you know. Um, unless you get back into the you know, 60s and below, you know, I think late 60s, early 70s, I think is when they started doing that in the, in the corner of the dash there. But sorry, I got a fly in here. But anyway, so we couldn't find it. Sheriff's deputy wouldn't pass it. Uh, brought it back home and then my buddy had a, 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 a stroke of genius and he calls me and he said, you know what? He said, come on fly. He said, you might want to try pulling off that stainless strip on the wiper cow at the bottom of the windshield. He said, maybe there's a VIN number, you know, maybe it's covering that. I said, I wouldn't think it would be, but who knows? So I commenced to taking the 54 year old screws out and remove that whole stainless piece uh, on, on the bottom of the windshield there and uh, nothing. So uh, it, it was a little crusty and, you know, nasty, of, you know, build up of dirt and stuff over the years. So I uh, started cleaning it up real good and uh, took a little bitty, little bitty brush and, and some cleaner and got, got down in that crevice in the back of the dash at the bottom of the windshield. Started scrubbing real good. 
and I'll be dogged if a, if a VIN number didn't start appearing. So we have found a VIN number, so now we get to go back for round two. And if he says that thing, something's wrong with that VIN number, then I, I don't know what we're gonna do. He even told me that I was gonna have to try to file for a VIN number reassignment. And I said, no, I'm not doing that. A buddy of mine who's a uh, retired police officer up in Indiana uh, had come to the wedding and he said Josh he said I I looked at that uh, tag under the hood Saturday at the wedding and he said of all my years of inspecting vehicles he said there's absolutely nothing about that tag that looks like it wasn't original or you know phony or anything like that he said he said your old sheriff's deputy was just being a jerk it is what it is so we'll take it back we'll get it taken care of It's always something with this car. <laughs> always something. Um, discovered, discovered when we uh, brought it home Saturday that I've uh, been smelling gas quite a bit lately, but had never figured out where it was coming from. And uh, discovered I have a very, very slight drip um, in the corner of the gas tank. So, <laughs> so uh, I need to drop the tank anyway. Um, my fuel gauge isn't working, so I'm gonna try to put a new uh, sending unit in it. So the tank's gonna have to come down anyway. So I guess when the tank comes down, we're gonna see about patching that, uh, patching that little drip in it. My buddy Danny that used to own this car, I swear sometimes he's probably sitting up there up there in heaven looking down just just laughing he, he was always a prankster and uh always enjoyed picking on me and in and, and fun not not being mean just in fun and I, I swear sometimes he's probably sitting up there looking down just laughing at me trying to deal with things on his car sometimes they're they're uh frustrating things but at the same time sometimes some of it's kind of comical you can't help but just stand back and step back and laugh Blend is good. I might mix some more of this up. I can't even really pinpoint what it reminds me of, this, but it's uh, I like it. I've missed making videos. Uh, I've had so much that I want to, so much content that I want to put out, and I haven't had a chance to do that lately. Uh, I also feel like I've missed a lot from everybody else putting videos out. I just ain't had a chance to watch them. But we'll see if we can do that tonight. Start catching up on some. It has been a beautiful day here today. I'd say low low 80s. Humidity hasn't been too bad, but I think it's going to start going back up tomorrow. But uh, today's been beautiful. A little, little bit of a breeze blowing. It's been nice. As you can see, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, the recliner, the shop recliner no longer exists. Uh, I had brought it out here from the house when I got a new one and uh, I had a, a 46 inch flat screen TV uh, in front of me there behind the camera. And uh, I was out here one day and had some westerns on off the antenna and uh, looked over and realized there was no picture on the TV. Had plenty of sound, but no picture. So uh, it was time for the TV to go. And without the TV, there really wasn't no reason to have the recliner sitting out here. Uh, I really didn't watch the TV much anyway, hardly at all. And uh, the most I really sat in the recliner was when I was making videos. So it just took up room. And uh, this is not a permanent sitting area here. I literally just drug this chair off, off the porch and uh, 
This is just a little makeshift cart that I have out here that I move around. Table, cart, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I just made me a little video area real quick. I'll get me a permanent sitting area out here at some point. Well, I reckon that's about all I got for right now. I hope everybody's doing well and hope that I can get start getting caught up on some of the videos I've been missing and, and uh, start getting some content back out for you. But I reckon I'm going to sit here and finish this here pipe and uh, probably head in the house and might start uh, catching up on some YouTube videos. But I reckon until next time, I wish lots of <laughs> I ain't done a video in so long, I forgot how I end my video. <laughs> I wish blessings for all and lots of luck to you and yours.